Hi hey everyone, so I'll just go over this problem with you if you're stuck. So the um, CPI is the Consumer Price Index, so a typical uh, basket of not just groceries but like all sorts of consumer products is valued at say $18.20 in 1945. Those same similar group of products would be valued at $55.50 in 1975. So that's generally what it means. Um, so we're going to get the 30-year inflation rate. Okay, so to get an inflation rate, um, you've, you've got you got to get the percent change or the percent increase, right? So first of all, we figure out well, well, what's the actual increase? So you go 55.5 subtract 18.2, right? And that gives us 37.3, right? So that's the amount it increased by, right? But to get the percent change or the inflation rate, same thing, you put the increase or the change over the original, all right? Increase over original. Compare the increase to where you started, and that's the percent change. So the increase is 37.3, and we started at 18. 0.2. So we put 37 over 37.3, divide that by 18.2, and we get 2.04945, etc. And I think we've got to round that to the nearest whole number percent. Let me just check. Yeah, round to the nearest whole number percent. So. Um, we move this over two spots to here and that becomes approximately and of course this rounds up so that's approximately 205 percent if you want to do it in two steps you would go um, 2.05 first of all and then write it as 205 percent so that is the inflation rate um, but the next part is, well, if you have groceries that cost $15 in 1945, what would they cost in, in 1975, okay? So um, again, you can press pause and try that. That's the next part of the question. Press pause and give it a go. I'll do it now. So. Um, I'll just let you write. I mean, the mistake you're making is probably you just didn't add on the 15. But look, when I get so so, you probably figured out. Well, I need to get 205 percent of 15 first of all, right? So that is in fact um, 2.05 times 15. Yeah, 2.05 times 15. Ah. 15, uh, oh, 2.05 times 15, uh, 30, 75, but that's not the answer, that's the increase. This is the amount of increase. Okay, so it increased by 205%. I've got 205% of 15, that's the increase, but I have to add on the 15 right so it's going to cost me fifteen dollars but also two hundred and five percent of fifteen right so the answer is forty five seventy five and we have to round that to what the nearest dollar so approximately forty six dollars okay so the trick is um what what does it cost in 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 1975 it's going to cost the fifteen dollars plus the increase, two hundred five percent of fifteen. So again, you, you you've got you got to It's going to cost fifteen dollars, but it's also going to cost this increase, and the increase amount is thirty seventy five, and that's what gives us our forty five seventy five, and we round that to forty six. So in in nineteen seventy five, your 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 fifteen dollar bas basket of groceries would cost approximately forty six dollars, right?